In Eat Only When You're Hungry, Lindsay Hunter tells the story of Greg, a middle-aged man struggling with addiction and a failing marriage. The novella explores themes of addiction, family, and self-discovery through Greg's journey as he sets out on a road trip to find his son, who has dropped out of college and disappeared. The story is told from Greg's perspective, and the reader is immediately introduced to his complicated relationship with food. He has a love-hate relationship with food, and his addiction to junk food is a recurring theme throughout the novella. He often eats compulsively, even when he's not hungry, which is a reflection of his addictive personality. The author uses Greg's obsession with food as a metaphor for his addiction to drugs and alcohol. Throughout the story, we learn about Greg's past and his struggles with addiction. He has been sober for several years, but he still craves drugs and alcohol, and his obsession with food is a way for him to cope with his cravings. By using food as a metaphor, the author conveys the idea that addiction is a complex and multi-layered issue that affects all aspects of a person's life. As Greg sets out on his road trip to find his son, we learn more about his family dynamics and his troubled relationship with his wife, Deb. They have grown apart over the years, and their marriage is on the brink of collapse. The author explores the theme of family and the importance of human connection through Greg's interactions with his son and his memories of his childhood. Throughout the novella, we see Greg struggling with his emotions and his sense of identity. He is a flawed character who is trying to make sense of his life and his place in the world. He is haunted by his past mistakes and struggles to find meaning and purpose in his life. The author uses Greg's journey to show that self-discovery is a difficult and painful process, but it is essential for personal growth and healing. The novella is beautifully written, with vivid descriptions and poignant reflections on life and human nature. The author uses a minimalist style, with short, simple sentences that convey the raw emotions and thoughts of the characters. The pacing is slow and deliberate, which allows the reader to fully immerse themselves in the story and empathize with the characters. In conclusion, Eat Only When You're Hungry is a powerful and moving novella that explores themes of addiction, family, and self-discovery. Through Greg's journey, the author shows that addiction is a complex and multi-layered issue that affects all aspects of a person's life. The novella is beautifully written and conveys a deep sense of empathy for its flawed and vulnerable characters. It is a must-read for anyone who is interested in exploring the human condition and the complexities of addiction and family dynamics.